room. Brilliant. Very pleased with that. Good. <laughs> and the free swing at 125,000. Right? <laughs> it, it is, absolutely. Free swing, nothing to lose. Shall we see the question? Please. Here it comes. Construction of which of these famous landmarks was completed first? Empire State Building, Royal Albert Hall, Eiffel Tower, or Big Ben Clock Tower? Uh, I can take out Empire State. That was 1927 or 28. It was um, Eiffel Tower, 1889. Big Ben, presumably, and the rebuilding of the Palace of Westminster after 1834. Royal Albert Hall, of course, its name is after Prince Albert, who died in 1861. Yeah. Uh, I think the clock tower was built at the time of the rebuilding of the Palace of Westminster after the catastrophic trophic fire. So I'm going to go D, final answer. It's like sitting next to the internet in a pink shirt. <laughs> that is the right answer. You've just won. 125,000 pounds. <laughs> You're on the floor. <laughs> Your brother's watching now. Going, it's Dave get, getting get worried, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming to get you. Um, this is great, isn't it? You enjoying it? I, I, I'm beside myself. <laughs> Don't lose it. I'm trying to say calm. Don't lose it, whatever you do. Um, right, now, um, obviously, things start having the words million in them now. Ready? I'm going to say it. This is your question for a quarter of a million pounds. Which of these cetaceans is classified as a toothed whale? Grey whale, minke whale, sperm whale, humpback whale? I know this one as well. Um, a, B and D are all baleen whales. <laughs> so the little krill and the sperm whale is a beaked whale. So I'm going final answer C, sperm whale. I mean, <laughs> I'd like to try and build some tension <laughs> into this, give people a sense that you may be wrong, but they know you're not, and you aren't. That is the right answer. <laughs> a quarter of a million pounds. The questions are falling very nicely for me, I've got to say. Very nicely. Wow. Um, I don't think anyone will go away. Um, hope not, because it's competition time, and here's your chance to win £64,000. For £64,000, text WIN to 8223. Text costs £2 plus one standard network rate message. Call 0906 878 Calls cost £2 plus your network access charge. Go to the website. Entries cost £2. Or post your name and phone number 2, MIL 2020, PO Box 7558, Derby DE1, 0NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10am, Monday the 23rd of November. Hello and welcome back to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. We're here with uh, a man... Well, basically, we're here with an encyclopedia with a moustache. <laughs> He's called Donald. He's on £250,000, a quarter of a million, and he has three lifelines remaining. That's one of the things that's worrying me, actually. I'm one of them. Mind you, you've got two phone of friends, so it's possible I won't be used if you make it to a million. <laughs> Can I just ask... How do you absorb the amount of information that you've obviously absorbed in your life? Um, I don't know, really. As a history teacher, obviously, my job is to know stuff. And so I've I always found it naturally from an early age to... Uh, I poured over atlases. I, I read atlases for fun. And, uh, um, obviously, I maybe learned lists of kings and queens and that kind of thing and just enjoyed doing it. So it but it, it obviously sits in your head as though it's written down. Are you the sort of person who can't find your wallet or your spectacles or...? 
all the time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the most frustrating person to live with. I live with a saint who puts up with me. <laughs> so you, I mean, it is like, I, where's I put that? Or do you go to bed at night and put your spectacles in the fridge and then turn up in bed with a bottle of milk, which is what I always do? <laughs> Not quite as extreme as that, but certainly uh, something along those lines. Yeah, I mean, your head must be so full of this kind of stuff that there's no room for... Practical things, Practical things, things that actually matter. You're quite, you're quite right, I'm afraid. <laughs> Can you, can you screw anything together? Can you wire a plug? <laughs> I can wire a plug. Uh, you can wire plug. a plug, OK. <laughs> Not that we have to do that anymore. Well, this is all just too exciting for words, isn't it? You are now two questions away. You only have to know two more things. And you're the first person in my tenure to win a million quid. Beat your brother. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Here comes your question for half a million pounds. Who's the only British... This is lucky, isn't it? Who's the only British politician to have held all four great officers of state at some point during their career? David Lloyd George, Harold Wilson, James Callaghan, or John Major? That's unbelievable, the way these questions are falling. OK, it's Sonny Jim, of course. Um, I could actually tell you what Lloyd George was uh, besides Prime Minister. I was cham yeah, he was Chancellor as well. Harold Wilson, I think he was only Secretary of the Board of Trade besides Prime Minister. John Major, he was the worst Chancellor this country's ever had, as well as uh, Prime Minister. But um, it's James Callaghan was all four. Um, famously, when he took over, he was Chancellor in 1964, and he found a note on his desk saying fr uh, from the uh, previous Chancellor saying, uh, something along the lines of, sorry, old cock, I seem to have left it a bit of a mess. <laughs> <laughs> he was right. <laughs> Teeth valuation three years later. James Callaghan, final answer. You've just won half a million pounds. <laughs> <That was just, laughs> you have matched your brother. <laughs> See people from various other programmes being made in this building are starting to wander into the back of the studio. It's that kind of a moment. I mean, I forget how many people have won a million on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I bet you know that. Six, I think. Six. You could be the seventh. <laughs> We're going to know, aren't we, in a few minutes? How's your heart? Um, 190, I think. Uh, maybe 200. <laughs> BPM. Um, let me just run through those, um, the answer to what you've just said, uh, the details of it for the people at home. Yeah, he was Chancellor 64, Home Secretary 67, Foreign Secretary 74, Prime Minister 76. Uh, Lloyd George was Chancellor and PM. Wilson was PM twice, Major Foreign Secretary, Chancellor and PM. So, what are you hoping it is? Topic-wise, you've had your politics. We would, have, we would have another politics, really. Let's have a geography, please. Geography? Let's have a geography, or a history, or, or a, a history. science. Or oh, Pink Floyd. Oh, yes. <laughs> when, I, when, I, when I can answer would be a nice one. Well, OK, let's <laughs> find out, shall we? Let's find out. <clears throat> Here it comes. The million-pound question. In 1718, which pirate died in battle off the coast of what is now North Carolina? Calico Jack, Blackbeard, Bartholomew Roberts, or Captain Kidd? I taught piracy um, one year. That's a, a special unit we did as part of a crime and punishment unit. And I'm pretty sure... Um, I, I'm supposed to say now what, how Calico Jack, Bart Roberts and Captain Kidd died when and where, and I can't remember, to be quite honest. But I do remember that Blackbeard died in 1718 off the coast of North Carolina. Blackbeard, final answer. My heart's now up to 200 BPM as well. You're actually sweating out of your eyes. Oh, I always do. <laughs> Donald Fear. You've just won a million pounds! No, 
Oh, you sit there for oh, yeah, You sit there, you're not going anywhere. Wow, wow, wow. How does it feel? Well, that was incredible. How was easy was that? I mean, the, the, I, the, every question fell for me. Unbelievable. That, who no cares? trivia. Not a single trivia question. No, no, but that... How did you know that? Where did... Well, I taught it. I taught it, in, I taught it to year eight kids. <laughs> but even about when did you teach it? Oh, uh, it was at Waitman, so it would have been about eight years ago. Seven, and it stayed ago. in your head? Oh, yeah, because it does. I mean, I've <laughs> just <laughs> done, last year, a, a TV show about piracy. Mm. Can't remember a thing about it. That was last year, but there it is. This is a truly remarkable performance. You've beaten your brother. How does that feel? Unbelievable. <laughs> Without using either him or my dad, who were my phone of friends. You didn't use me. <laughs> I mean, you have, you've got three lifelines left. Mm. And you didn't really need that 50-50, if we're honest. <laughs> you sort of knew anyway. I mean, you described your... Um, your brother is your hero and your best friend. He is. Other way round now as well, I'm suspecting. <laughs> I mean, he'll be very pleased for me. That's the sort of person he is. Will he? He will. And what are you going to do? Are you going to are you going to keep going with job? Or are you going to? No. <laughs> you're not. <laughs> well, uh, it's, this will hasten retirement. Put it that way. I will, I'll probably see another year to um, see my last A level class through, but I think it's about time me and my wife started looking around the world. And, oh, um, well, look, I wish you all the very best. Have an absolutely fantastic time. A thousand, 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 a million, in fact, a million congratulations. I am delighted for you. I really, really am. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone who's walked into the studio to see this moment. <laughs> Donald Fear, millionaire. <laughs> Thanks, Donald. <laughs> He was like a sponge. There's no piece of information that hasn't lodged in his head. That's just... Oh, and I'm... Oh, I'm choking up. That's absolutely incredible. Um, I'm really sorry, you four. <laughs> You're not going to come on, because that's... That is all we've got time for tonight. Earlier on, Amal Shah went home with £32,000. Very few people are going to remember that, sadly, because Donald Fear has just left here with the big one, a million pounds. Isn't that fantastic? It really is. Good night. <laughs>contestants for the next series of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Do you have what it takes to win a million? Head to itv.com slash beyondtv right now to apply. Amazing stuff. And Donald Fear will be talking all about his big win with Philip and Holly on Mondays this morning from 10 o'clock. Some of the best new comedians in the UK are on the bill tomorrow night here on ITV for the start of a brand new series, Jonathan Ross's Comedy Club at 10. But next tonight, David Williams is here with more clips of when TV goes wrong. It'll be all right on the night in just a few minutes.